sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel. I have no idea what this was, but it was definitely showing off my gobbler. So let's never do that again, ma'am. So today, yours truly is going to react to the Sim 4 paranormal stuff. And I am literally, okay, freaking out right now, not even because we are getting a brand new stuff pack and it just is like a whole two minutes into 2021. I'm not ready for it, but also, Hello, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Not this elephant, not that elephant, the elephant in the room, which just so happens to be my new office setup. I'm super duper excited. I kind of want to talk to you guys more um, about like my life and why the change of scenery and also just, you know, all the things. Um, but unfortunately, I'll have to save it for a different video because I can be quite the chatterbox. The only thing scarier than paranormal activity is Jennifer's eyelashes. Yes, I went full snuffleupagus today. Um, Amazon is bringing my lashes in the mail as we speak so let's talk about it how do we feel right off the jump when I uh, basically you know was snooping around and found a couple weeks or two um, about the stuff pack I was like <laughs> like I mean it's cute I'm not really into like um, paranormal activity in, in my games but like catch me <laughs> catch me binge watching um, some ghost hunters definitely about that life so I'm very open to the idea is it just me though are we a little shocked that we're even getting this type of a stuff pack because I'm pretty sure it was the loser when it came to the whole community voting shindig what am I not I don't know but that's just me anyways I am really excited to you know, dive in, check it out, give it a, give it a shot, give it a chance. Anyways, you guys, me and my <laughs> green mermaid, what, what is he, what is he doing? He's just, he's just really like out here right now, out here on the prowl, he ain't playing. What are you doing, Bubbles? What are you doing, you see what mama doing? Oh, you stink, your fish looks like butch. All right, I gotta go back to, you know, entertaining myself. Okay, that's enough monkeying around. Let me go ahead and put in my handsy dandy earbuds, which actually, okay, have both of the plastic pieces. By the way, we all know that girl came from busted beats out here in these streets to some, I, I think these are actually called Panasonic, like the camera. And um, I got them for four bucks. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> a deal's a deal. What an intro! Anybody else getting weekend vibes from this this music? I love it. Sam, hello there, Pixel Thirst. Maybe cafe shadow. Ooh. I love that hair. Oh my god. And those little ghosts are so cute. Ooh, I see a couple new hairstyles. Yes. New career. Oh, <gasps> investigator. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fish, bring it back. Bring it way back. I like the clothes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you. So we have a release date for January 26. Mark your calendars because it is coming soon. Um, I'm actually like a little, a little, a little shocked. I like this trailer so much more than I thought I was going to. Obviously, the effort, the creativity is so there. Um, I love how this pack is based on a paranormal like activity and like spooky stuff, but it's so colorful and vibrant and fun looking. It like really makes me want to play. Now, I will be honest. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit of a Debbie Downer here. This isn't the first time I've seen a trailer that I was like <gasps> totally enamored with and then completely like crushed by the gameplay. You know what I mean? So I'm not getting my hopes up too high, but. I'm definitely really excited for what I see so far. Um, so let's talk about some of the new chings. Okay, chings that I noticed um, here in the trailer. So we're getting obviously a brand new hairstyle. It caught my attention almost immediately. And I also um, noticed in this portion of the clip, the lights flickering. So I kind of like that little touch, especially if maybe like, you know, you are experiencing a haunt and like having the lights flicker in your house, or maybe that's just like a 
haunted house type of a thing. Also, I do wonder how this is going to tie in with the whole um, haunted uh, lot tree that came with City Living. I wonder if maybe you're going to get some like spooky ghouls and goblins there too as well. Um, this doll is freaking creepy, but it looks like there's a little shrine happening here. Also, peep the um, little hand off to the side. Sorry that I smacked you. The mic's like literally right here. Um, but although creepy, super duper cute. I like that. Again, going back to what I said earlier, now, the um, candles with the black uh, flame, oh my god, that brings me back to Hocus Pocus. Like, it really does. And I don't know, this bedroom is so beautiful. Like, I wish I could live in it. I'm just, I'm totally, like taken aback by the beauty of this pack. Also, this intro slayed my existence. That was, that was like, that was gold. So for like Bill Buy, obviously we've got a lot. There's so much that is happening in this pack. We got brand new lamps, um, we got fixtures, we've got this cute little uh, palm tree doodad that I've never actually seen quite done before. Not to mention these couches are everything and I feel like they're everything because they also look like they will fit well in multiple packs. It's not something that's just going to be pack specific. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of getting winded from how excited I am. Like, mm, 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 mm. I feel like a kid in a candy store right now. But even like the little miscellaneous decor items, like give it to me. I need this. Maybe it's because I'm getting into building more and I'm just like, thinking of all the things um, that can be done with it. So yeah, we've got a new lot type, which I'm assuming is going to probably be haunted houses because it literally says create haunted houses. Um, but I'm really interested in learning how the brand new career works. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to kind of work um, in the same manner as the career did uh, back in The Sims 3, when you could go and expel ghosts and spirits and things like that. Not to mention, um, these little guys are seriously the cutest things ever. Like they are I just I want one I want to squish it <laughs> like I'm not even joking beautiful fireplace beautiful craftsmanship I'm very excited about the um just all the little miscellaneous details that come in this pack like I wonder what this is I mean uh, he is definitely pixel thirst to the max like home homeboy here really is doing something for me but I wonder like what's the significance like you know what I'm saying? Like, who is he? He's very mysterious. In terms of hairstyles, I do believe this is a new hairstyle. And I also believe this one over here, which is giving me like Stranger Things vibes, um, also is a new hairstyle. And I don't know how I feel about it because it's kind of weird. But also like, I thought the hairstyle with um, Snowy Escape was really weird. But then I put it on Rugger and it worked for him. So I'm not really sure who he is. Maybe he's like a, a spirit you summon or maybe apparently um, you send back to the the, the netherworld. Uh, but this right here having I think this is like wait new gameplay, obviously um, host a seance like, oh, my God, this is crazy. Like, does anybody else want to play with this? Because I sure as hell do. Like, I love the crystal ball. I love just the kind of like. I don't know. It's not just ghosts and ghouls. Like, it's also, you know, like, hopefully for fortune telling or something along those lines, too. I wonder if there would be, like, a career. Probably not with fortune telling. I wish there was because that would be, like, super fun. Um, we've got <laughs> we've got the goths kind of having a moment here. Those orbs, were they in Snowy Escape? Wait, hold on a second. I feel like they were. Like, they were, like, the angry spirits or something. Gosh, I can't even get over it. Um, okay, so obviously, let's talk about the <laughs> skeleton in the closet. Uh, Bone Hilda! has made a return and I'm not even kidding. She came through like this. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. This is exactly what 2021 needed. We needed our girl back in the house. <gasps> ooh, is that candy? I wonder if you, ooh, is this a new drink? Hold on a second. It's like, the, the, you really have to watch these trailers like multiple freaking times. I'm really excited for the build objects. Like I cannot, not, 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 not reiterate that enough. Um, But also like, check out the clothes. I love this. It kind of gives me like little, like kind of like bohemian vibes, just, just a little bit. Um, this piece here is absolutely beautiful. I love how it's like full length. Obviously this is going to be an outfit of some type. I, I couldn't envision this being separated. Um, but everything that I see here, honestly, like intrigues me a little bit. It feels like it's a, its own style almost. Um, and then I think this hat is also new, which would go great on, uh, what's her name? Mrs. Crumplebottom. 
I am really sitting here shocked as hell right now because when this bad boy was released or leaked or whatever all over Twitter, my first initial reaction was, oh my god, no! Like, I wanted to cry a little bit, but then now that I've seen the trailer and also <laughs> Bone Hilda has made her return, um, I feel like I'm, I'm like so much more excited for it and I don't know, you know, I will say something though, like there was a part of me that always goes back to the whole, like, don't be so skeptical, you might actually like it because when Stranger Dangerville first 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 was announced I was like hmm you know maybe not really um but then I played with it and it's like honestly one of my favorite packs and y'all don't believe me when I say it but it truly is so going back to the whole bohemian vibes it's actually more like 70s vibes to me now that I'm looking back at it um but yeah I'm, I'm really 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 eager to see more on this stuff pack and I'm curious to know if you guys are excited too but I did want to point out one thing one thing um, that uh, one of the sim gurus actually leaked. I hope this is an official sim guru. Okay, it is. Game designer at Maxis. So, hello. We're actually getting a brand new emotion with this pack. More than anything, I'm really curious to see like how the whole scared emotion plays out in game and also if there's going to be any brand new interactions with that and how sentiments are going to work around the new emotion. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video with my final thoughts and I'm gonna need you guys to like sit tight, hang on to the freaking armchair. My brain is literally like pulling itself in two, di two different directions right now. Like I have one side of me that's like, oh, this is the best thing ever. And then the other side's like, <laughs> but you remember Realm of Magic, right? and they're fighting right now they're beefing like we have actual beef happening so when I feel this way it's often best just to keep my freaking mouth shut I don't know as far as the trailer goes love the trailer very excited for the build of the items the cast objects the gameplay the new career that type of a thing I've been lately getting really into the sims again like I'm not even kidding like just deep in the trenches <laughs> not to be aggressive or anything but like seriously though I feel like I can kind of take anything now and make a story or make a purpose out of it so even though like again I wasn't somebody who voted for this stuff pack or even wanted anything like this it could end up being like Strangerville 2.0 it could be that one thing you didn't want but never knew you needed it's best <laughs> to keep my lips pressed because I honestly don't know <laughs> what's next um, but I am curious to know what you guys think so feel free to use my comment section as a place for all of your thoughts your speculations your objectifications I don't know just you know basically sound off I'm really curious to see what you guys think and how you feel um, about this pack also please let me know how you like the setup one of the reasons why I continuously look at myself like a parakeet in the mirror is because I'm so self-conscious about the way um, my background looks right now like just you know I'm not used to it so I keep looking at it making sure like we're in the frame and all that stuff also no I'm not gonna like be all dolled up every freaking time you see me some days it's gonna look very scary um but that's chill like that's how I am I don't wear makeup every day and like dude I'm full glam and I'm wearing my sim sweater freaking some fruit of the loom sweatpants and my man's sister's socks hi Erica and that's just how we do it sometimes and by sometimes I mean like literally all the freaking time yeah I'm really excited to do more face cam I'm really excited to be able to like kind of let my card down with you guys and just chill and vibe and have a good time and kind of connect with you guys a little bit more I feel like 2021 is really gonna be the sugar squads here um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here I hope you all enjoyed if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the Sun does not shine and I will see you all next time bye guys